Why is it colder in the winter than in the summer? By Dr. Henny Farid, Dartmouth College. Now, anytime we get a passage of this nature where we have text features, we take a moment to look at those text features to see how they will help us while we are trying to determine meaning. Now, the title, Why Is It Colder in the Winter Than in the Summer?, gives me a clue that this is going to be about how our seasons are determined. When I think of that, that's a prediction I have. When I look at the first visual, where we have the Earth, and you can see a red arrow going across South America into Africa, and you can see the red line. It's not directly in the middle of the Earth, but very close. It's pointing upward. That is called the axis. When you go to the second picture, you see the Earth is rotating around the Sun as all of our planets in our solar system. Then when you see the third picture, you see the Sun at a distance, and then you see the Earth on somewhat what of we would describe as a rotating line, and you can see the axis line. So that lets us know that as we are rotating around the Sun, our planet is also rotating around the sun as well. Okay, so it's the earth is rotating on its axis. Let me be clear. The earth is rotating on its axis while our planet is rotating around the sun. And it's ever so slight, so we don't feel it. Then when we look at, at the bottom pictures, we can see the earth at different points or at different positions I guess I would say and you can see the axis line and again the axis is not directly in the center so from looking at the title looking at the pictures looking at the words in the pictures we have a pretty good idea that this is going to talk about maybe the scientific idea around how our seasons are formed okay and we see some underlying words in this passage. We have axis, rotation, relative, sun, sun, sun. We have earth, rotates, sun and sun. Earth, rotates, sun. Earth, rotates, earth and sun. And then again we have earth. So a lot of words that are repeated are the three words that I noticed right off the bat. Earth rotates sun. So those three words in concert with the title and the visuals help me to form a prediction that this passage will most likely be about how our earth behaves in our solar system to develop our four distinct seasons. Okay? So why is it colder in the winter than in the summer? Well, when I look at winter and summer, it's probably, now that I look at the title a little more closely, I'm thinking, well, maybe just specifically between those two seasons. Let's begin with the text. The Earth's axis of rotation is tilted relative to the Earth's path around the sun. As a result, we are tilted towards the sun in the summer and away from the sun in the winter. Read on for a more detailed explanation. Fact 1. The Earth rotates about its axis once every 24 hours. Okay, so we're going to see the sun, then we're going to see darkness in the moon. In the morning, we're facing towards the sun, and the sun rises in the east. And at night, we are facing away from the sun. Fact 2. The Earth rotates around the Sun approximately every 365 days or one year. Fact 3. The axis about which the Earth rotates is tilted by 23 and 5 tenths degrees relative to the Earth's path around the Sun. So how does all this fit into why it's colder in the winter than in the summer? Let's look at the last chunk. Shown below 
or two diagrams of the Earth at the same time of day. Okay, so I can see Africa. Is that Africa there? And then it looks as if we have Australia there. Okay, so we're looking at two different sides of the Earth, opposite sides. So, let's go back to the last chunk of text. Shown below are two diagrams of the Earth at the same time of day. On the left, it is winter. Hmm. And on the right, it is summer in the northern hemisphere. Notice that the same spot, the red circle, in the winter receives much less light than in the summer. As a result, it is colder in the winter than in the summer. Note. In this diagram, the Earth's axis is 33 degrees instead of 23 and 5 tenths. So it is so as to better illustrate the effect. Now I want to underline something very important. It shows, going back to that same text, that same chunk, I'm going to reread it. Shown below are two diagrams of the Earth at the same time of day. On the left, it is winter. On the right, it is summer. Then notice the same spot, and it's in red, right here. Notice that the same spot, the red circle, in the winter receives much less light than in the summer. As a result, it is what? Colder in the winter than in the summer. So because it's getting less sunlight and the way it's positioned at that point of the year, that point of, of the 365 days, that's going to determine whether it's colder at that specific location or warmer. What is tilted relative to the Earth's path around the sun according to the article? The sun's position in space, the sun's axis of rotation. Okay, the sun doesn't have an axis, but the earth does, so we're going to eliminate B. The earth axis of rotation, Mars axis. So we can eliminate B and D automatically because we know that the sun doesn't have an axis and that Mars was not mentioned in the article. Okay, let's go back to the question. What is tilted relative to the Earth's path around the sun, according to the article? And we know that it is the Earth's axis is tilted, okay, around the sun. Number two, how does the Earth's tilt in the summer contrast, so how is it different, with its tilt in the winter? The earth is tilted towards the sun in the summer, that's true, but away from the sun in winter. Well, that's true, let's check it, but we have to check all four. The earth is tilted away from the sun in summer. All right, we know that's not true, so let's go on to see. The earth is tilted slightly towards the sun in the summer and much farther towards the sun in the winter, no. D, the earth is tilted slightly away from the sun in the summer, but much farther away in the winter? No. So, although A through D had similar answers, we must go back to A. Number three, read fact one and look at the image next to it. The earth rotates about its axis once every 24 hours. In the morning, we are facing towards the sun, and at night, we are facing away from the sun. Based on this information, what can you conclude about the curved arrow in the diagram? And when we go back, if we went back to the article, we have the curved arrow going like this. You have... North America and South America here, and then it was rotating over to um, Africa. The arrow represents the Earth's axis. 
The arrow represents the Earth's rotation. The arrow represents the Earth's equator. Or the arrow represents the Earth's tilt. Okay, well the axis is that line that we have that is going up and down. Okay, so let's go back and read the question. The sun, the earth rotates about its axis once every 24 hours. In the morning we are facing towards the sun and at night we are facing away from the sun. Based on this information, what can you conclude about the curved arrow in the diagram? So it wants to know about this line, not the axis line, but this line. The arrow represents the earth axis. Well, the top arrow does, but not the one that's going around. The arrow represents the earth's rotation. It's definitely trying to show that it's going in a certain direction. The arrow represents the earth's equator. No, and it doesn't even talk about the equator, but it's not matching zero degrees latitude. The arrow represents the earth's tilt. Not, we don't have anything talking about the tilt in that visual. So I'm going to go back to B. The arrow represents the Earth's rotation. Okay. Now keep in mind we do have the arrow on the visual that's going up and down. But the one that is winding around, which is the one they're talking about, the curved arrow in the diagram, that one's showing the rotation. Number four. Look at the two diagrams of the Earth at the end of the article. What might the red line in each diagram represent? And We have four choices. A place on the Earth that receives less light in winter than in summer. The Earth's axis. The Earth's rotation. The Earth's path around the sun. With both pictures of the Earth on the last section, we have a tilt with the red line being the axis, even though it's showing two different positions. So, a place on the Earth that receives less light in the winter than in the summer, which really is supposed to show both of those. The Earth's axis, which is what it clearly seems to be, but let's look. The Earth's rotation, we don't see any movement with that. The Earth's path around the sun, we do have a visual of the Earth's path around the sun, but in this, the last two diagrams, it's definitely B again. That line is demonstrating the Earth's axis. Okay, what is the main idea of the text? Okay, let's go back to the question. Is it colder in the winter or why? Why is it colder in the winter than in the summer? And we kept, we saw the word rotate. We saw the word sun. We saw the word earth and axis multiple times. So let's see how that pay, plays into this answer. What is the main idea? So we're going to have to put a lot together to come up with the main idea. The earth rotates around its axis once every 24 hours. That's a very important detail, but we learn more things. The Earth rotates around the Sun approximately every 365 days. Again, an important detail that matches the main idea and supports the main idea, but not completely the main idea. The axis around which the Earth rotates is tilted by 23 and 5 tenths degrees relative to the Earth's path around the Sun. That's an important supporting detail, but again, is it getting to the essence of what the entire article was about? And then we have winter is colder than summer because Earth's axis of rotation is tilted. Hmm. So, in the title we have winter and cold. On letter D, we have winter, colder, summer. Then we have some more repeated words, Earth, axis, and rotation. So based on the fact that A, B, and C are supporting details, we can put our finger on those facts in the actual 
passage. We're not saying those facts did not occur, but they're supporting details that support letter D. Winter is colder than summer because Earth's axis of rotation is tilted. Read these sentences from the text. The Earth rotates about its axis once every 24 hours. In the morning, we are facing towards the sun, and at night, we are facing away from the sun. What is the meaning of rotates as it is used here? It rises. It talks about the sunrise. It really doesn't even talk about the sun rising. It falls. I think that would be if they were talking about dawn and dusk. Shrinks, no, that never even, we can definitely eliminate that. Rotates here, oh wow, definitely turns. Turns would be the answer. Now I like number seven. Read these sentences from the text. The Earth's axis of rotation is tilted relative to the Earth's path around the sun. As a result, we are tilted towards the sun in the summer and away from the sun in the winter. Which word or phrase could replace as a result without changing the meaning of these sentences? So, as a result means that something's going to occur. So let's just fit it in. We have as a result. All right. The Earth's axis of rotation is tilted relative to the Earth's path around the sun. As a result, so that's kind of like a cause and effect word we need. We need, yeah, we need a cause and effect. So, for example, mm, is extending what fact you're saying. So this isn't really a cause and effect. The Earth's axis of rotation is tilted relative to the Earth's path around the sun. As a result, so for example, we are tilted toward, mm, for example, doesn't give us a cause and effect. Okay, consequently, the Earth's axis of rotation is tilted relative to the Earth's path around the sun. Consequently, we are tilted towards the sun in the summer and away from the sun in the winter. So this word, consequently, lets us know that because of this, the Earth's axis of rotation is tilted relative to the Earth's path. And as a result, so consequently, these are the things that happen. So here's a cause and effect. So consequently goes really well. However, would show a contrast. So this is not a contrast. It's more of linking two things together. Primarily, that would be one of those words that if you were giving a list of things in order, like sequential, then you might start with primarily or my primary reason. So this is not giving a primary reason. So that's why I'm going to go ahead and eliminate that. So when we look back at for example and consequently, for example would be if you said, I, I went to the grocery store and I bought some vegetables. For example, I found the carrots to be very ripe and in season. So that would be extending your thought. Where here, we're getting a more cause and effect relationship. So I'm going with B, consequently.